Here we are in a city called San Pedro de Macorís. This city is located about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes drive from Santo Domingo on the south coast of the Dominican Republic. Population, in 2010 the population was a bit over 100,000, so maybe 120, 125,000. And I'm here on, in, in late November of 2020. It's 30 degrees today, feels like about 40, very humid. And I'm headed to the Jumbo in San Pedro and all of the Dominican Republic. There is a curfew from 7, till, 7 p.m. till 5 a.m. on the weekends and 9 p.m. till 5 a.m. on the weekdays. And so we also have a lot of, pretty much all the restaurants are closed for dining. Well, not all, maybe 90%. So I'm headed for the Jumbo. The Jumbo is a large supermarket and kind of miniature mall located very close to where I'm staying. San Pedro is not really a tourist destination such as uh, Sisua or Puerto Plata or Punta Cana. Uh, however, they are known for the Malacan, and it's, I believe it's a one kilometer long kind of like uh, boardwalk, as you call it in English, uh, along the uh, seaside. And there's a lot of restaurants and bars there. And uh, this is my first time in San Pedro, but from what I understand, uh, this Malacan is a very fun place to go on weekends and actually most weekdays. Uh, but when you have a curfew of seven or nine o'clock, it's not going to happen. In San Pedro, I'm staying in an Airbnb for, I believe it was seven nights. And the Airbnb only cost $20 a night, got great reviews, hot water all the time, which can sometimes be a problem in some countries. Uh, they had a TV, cable TV with hundreds of stations, pretty much anything you want to watch. Obviously most are in Spanish, but they did have um, some of the um, more popular you know, English uh, channels such as CNN, Fox News, etc. My opinion of San Pedro, I'm gonna, actually I'm going to be putting up a couple more videos about San Pedro and also Santo Domingo. I was in Santo Domingo for a couple weeks before here and um, I like San Pedro. I just kind of feel comfortable here. The people are nice. Uh, it's not too big, not too small. You've got the Malacan, which uh, after the curfew ends, hopefully next year should be a fun place to go. And so I will, I will be back for sure. Um, I was in Santo Domingo for a couple weeks before that, and uh, like I said, I, w I, w I will be putting up some more videos about both cities that I spent some time in.